gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. After two and a half months, we are back. Well, then, the SEA Rebellion, this is yours truly, the JM Factor, Joseph Matos. You've been wondering, where the heck have we been for the past two and a half months? Well, let me read it this way. Envy found out that Ray Kurosawa was going to try to bring some undesirables. Envy put a stop to that and sent the undesirables packing. Ray threw a massive fit and went into an insane rampage of destroying tons of te technical equipment and equipment to put the shows together. And Ray has been detained in Zandig's basement. <clears throat> so, you know, we're going to be starting, so, you know, we're back. We're, you know, very close to Hard Havoc. Two episodes left, one episode left for both Rebellion and Alliance. For us going to get real. And we're going to be starting the Rebellion off with the Tag Team Championships on the line. As Hotness is defending the Tag Team titles <coughs> against Team Berserk, Ryo Kazama, and Komiyama Korea. Hotness is winning the Tag Team titles at Bill and Destiny. They've been beating many established teams. But I wonder, the one thing I've been wondering is, you know, what made them want to establish themselves now? I mean, they've had since 2011. So, you know, I wonder what brought this change. You know, why would they want to be taken seriously now? And man, when they got serious, they, they their game playing plan has completely changed. Like, their, their personalities are the same, but they're even more fo focused. As the referee, as time for some reason went to a standstill, the referee's showing off the SCA Tag Team Championships, that's what they're all about. And Prince of Persia stopping time again. <clears throat> and here we go. It's gonna be Komiyama and Cynthia Ryan starting off first. While SCA has been on hiatus, Berserk hasn't been on hiatus. Soccer Hagi Yuara, the SCA Women's Champion, is in the Vita in, in that tournament. She went, she's she's qualified from the round robin portion of that tournament into the final stage, which is a single elimination. Dark Star Chaos is also there as well, so yeah. So even though SCA has been on hiatus, there's been a lot going on in Berserk. If you guys ever are interested in checking out Berserk, you definitely can on my YouTube channel. And Komiyama really is in control here. Eldo right to the back of the head. And now setting Cynthia, Cynthia Ryan up for the ride and delivering the clothesline. And I'm going right for a ground headlock. Gonna try to get more elevation. Now try to add more pressure into that headlock. Cindy Ryan trying to go for a drop kick and missed. But she definitely did miss with that elbow. Now going into the go behind. Spinning back backdrop. And you know, guys, I've been wondering something. And Envy's been wondering this as well. Ryomo has been. Okay, as, Ri, as, Ri, as Ryo has made that blind tag, um, Ryomo has been missing ever since Dawn, after Dawn of Destiny. And remember, Ryomo has a women's championship match against so uh, Sakura Hagiwara if Sakura is still the champion by Revelation 5 in the 5 this summer. But, you know, Ryomo's been missing and nobody's been able to find her. Which has been weird, as Ryo had a kick to the stomach of the stomach and a big kick right to the face. And now once again, more kicks to that face. Ryo being a no is a no nonsense. Very passionate wrestler and a big roundhouse kick by Cynthia Ryan. And now Cynthia Ryan setting setting Rio to their corner. Now tagging in the ravishing one. Nice double team. And now the ravishing crystal is the legal woman. And delivering a clothesline to the back and now dropping elbows. You know, another thing that's been going on is that is the is the growing animosity between Melissa Forrester and the kid, and so far it's been with violence, and it's been with words. Now as going for a cover, one, two, no, got the shoulder up. 
The match continues. Now we now for the ride again, and this time, no! Spinning heads are just eight now by Ryo Kazama. And now Ryo Kazama with the go, with a go, I know. And Crystal just delivering a big, stiff clothesline, quickly going for a pin. Two, no! And near fall, now sending them to the court, to, to the wrong side of town. Komiyama made that tag. And Crystal realizes it. And Crystal more distracted with Ryo than with Komiyama. And Komiyama making her pay for it. With the snake eyes and cross body off the top rope. Big mistake by Crystal and there's a backdrop. And so far, now Komiyama quickly going for the cover. One, two, no. Definitely not enough. He stuck kicks to the midsection. And now going for that arm bar. Two trying to do some damage to that arm. But Crystal easily able to get out of this. Dropping the elbow and Crystal. Showing up. I don't know if that's a good idea. Komiyama back to her feet. And no limit. Crystal evading. Going behind and going with that Russian leg sweep, the move that bends the very fabric of the universe. Now grabbing her, dragging her corpse to their side of town. Quickly going up that top rope and dropping those knees. And she's definitely made her respect the knee with that one. Now tagging in Cynthia Ryan, and now Cynthia Ryan going up to the top rope. Trying to go for an elbow and no. She escapes. A big high knee. Now sending her to their side of town, and oh man, double knee to the shoulder, and an elbow to the back of the head. And now, wait, look at this. Now just going to a camel clutch position while while, move, while messing with the arms. Rio makes the tag. Rio tagging in. There's a double cutter! Double cutter by Komiyama and Rio. Rio quickly going for the pin! One! Two! This could be! No! Crystal breaks the cup, breaks it. If Crystal didn't break it, I guarantee you we probably would have had new tag team champions. Oh man, that kick at close range. Gonna try it again. One! Two! No! Cindy Ryan barely able to kick out. But the ride, there's a leapfrog. And wait a minute, jumping snap mirror by Cynthia Ryan. There's a kick to the midsection. There's a throat thrust, throat, a shot to the throat. Now going for that amateur wrestling takedown. If this was amateur wrestling, she would have gotten points. There's a knee to the face and a neck breaker. Cindy Ryan bouncing back. Gyrating and going for that body splash. One, two, three. Hotness retains the tag team titles. Let's see here in the highlights. Rio going for a Rio tagging in and going for that double cutter. That almost could have ended the match. Cindy Ryan with that shot to the throat. And after delivering that body splash, that was all she wrote. The reign of hotness in the tag team division continues. But as we're celebrating, like I was trying to say earlier, you have that growing animosity also going on between Melissa Forrester and the kid. The whole MMA boxing and other style situation. As Miss Forrester has been disrespecting not just b other like fighting styles or martial arts, but also disrespecting boxing as well. And that's created that's a big problem when it came, it came later out last time before the last alliance before the high set happened. And in a few moments we will be hearing the kids' comments about what, what's her opinion on Melissa Forrester.
But wait a minute! Turnabout beating fair play! Melissa Forster now attacking the kids from behind! Oh man, Hardcore Havoc, it's gonna get real! match because the Queen of Hardcore Champion, Riot, who will be at Hardcore Havoc's main event defending that Queen of Hardcore title against Sergeant Clements. Remember at Dawn of Destiny after Riot and Poison went through that hellacious steel cage weapons match against the League of Brutes. League of Brutes now disbanded as a team in SCA but not Berserk. They would later be confronted by a root by SE legend a legendary tag team tag team SA, the, the original Saint Rodney Rage and Sergeant Clements, and they laid down the gun. I'm just saying that these that Poison Riot are invading their territory, their stopping grounds. That if they want the, if they truly want to be called the queens of the street, they need to beat them. Ryan and Poison went through enough hell for claiming themselves as the queens of the street against the League of Brutes. Now they have to now they have to go through this again, but this time with an even worse team. A team even worse than the League of Brutes. Back in the day, this used to be Sergeant Clemens and Roddy Rago's house. Both of them former champions, women's champions, and terrorized the tag team division. Here comes Riot's opponent, Toshimi Minami. Toshimi Minami will accomplish shoot wrestler. If I was Toshimi Minami, the one game plan I would go for, I would not try to fight Riot's fight. I would try to use wrestling, and I would try to go for submissions. That's if I was in Minami's shoes. Minami not really known for her for, for fighting hardcore. That's not that's not her style. You can you imagine this? Can you imagine a person winning the hardcore championship but never uses weapons? They just use wrestling. That'd be the weirdest thing ever. All right, here we go. Sound of the bell and the match is underway. And Minami not wasting any time going for those back chops. And Riot responding in kind with a back body drop to the outside. Minami quickly getting back into the ring. Gets her in a front face lock. Goes for that European uppercut. And this is what I was talking about earlier. This is what Minami has to do. She needs to use wrestling. Riot is great at brawling, but in the, in the department of pro wrestling? Nope. She's not really known for her wrestling. And I feel that Minami should take advantage of that. Oh, and there's an atomic drop by Riot. And Riot getting her into the corner. No, Minami not, not letting that happen. And look at Minami once again! Going for that snap suplex, working on the, uh, the abdomen. Working on that back, working on the abdomen. Oh, there's an elbow by Riot. And Riot with that bicycle kick. And stomping the back of the knee. And again, stomping the back of the knee. And this time with an elbow to the head. Oh, wait, catching the punch. And look at this, Minami with that counter into the octopus stretch. This hold can work out where it does damage to multiple parts of the human body. And where how much damage has been done to the abdomen, to the abdominal muscles of Riot. And this is not going to help matters either. The abdomen, the back being worked on. The arm being slammed into the canvas. Minami right now just controlling this match right now. At least for the time being. There's a knee right to the back of the head. And now Minami looking at this going for a body lock now. Just squeezing on the abdomen. On the stomach, on the abdomen, just doing as much damage as possible. And right now, the wrestling strategy is really working. Riot in trouble here. Minami sticking to what she, what brought her into the dance, and it's working. And oh, and Riot with that bulldog. Riot tired of, of being bodied by wrestling, by wrestling, and is now using her brawling. And look at those, those punches. Those focused hands. And now, tell him and not exactly what she feels about her before dropping the elbow. 
and even more elbows, this time to the shoulders. Totally, Minami's shoulders aren't built like both. Now sending her to the, to the apron, and oh my god! Riot clothesline Minami so hard, not only she went off the apron, but the back, but the upper part of her back and the back of her head hit the steel steps. And after dragging Minami back into the ring, oh, this is, this is the nail in the coffin, there's a riot bomb! Look at that impact! Riot connecting with the riot bomb, quickly going into a lateral press. One, two, oh, forget about it. You can count in what the 50, and she wouldn't be taking it. Riot pretty much sending a message to Sergeant Clements at Arthur Abbey. Telling her pretty much, in her own simple way, in her own way of saying it, to bring it on. I'm gonna tell you, man, Hardcore Havoc, these two are definitely gonna be killing each other for the Queen of Hardcore Championship. It is not gonna be pretty, it's not gonna be scientific. This victory strengthens the souls of right. And Riot was definitely in a whole lot of trouble in the earlier portions of this match. Minami really was using wrestling, wearing her down and doing some damage. But that burst, that last burst of offense from Riot was really what got her into the A-game. And that glare clothesline into the steel steps. That definitely was nailing the coffin for Minami. But wait a minute! Wait, here comes the number one contender for the Queen of Hardcore Championship. Here comes Sergeant Clements. It looks like Sergeant Clements, not going to be one up, is going to be going into a match. And look at her, she's just keeping her eyes on Riot while Riot's in the ring. Even as she's doing her thing, thing on her way to the ring, she's not taking, really taking her eyes off. Well, now she's taking her eyes off, but she's really just keeping her focus and keeping her eyes on the Queen of Hardcore Champion. Riot, right now, leaving the ring. Oh, look at that eye contact they just made. Sarge Clements made it, made her way to the ring. And Sarge Clements not going to be one-upped by Riot. Who is Sarge Clements going to take on? Good old the USA! The USA, who pretty much got bodied and destroyed in the BWQ Fighting Spirit Tournament's round-robin portion. Big complete losing streak. She only got two wins in the round robin portion. Unfortunately, I don't think she was able to qualify. I have a feeling that I'm dead wrong. I'm, I might be dead wrong. But yeah, that turn was not up the USA's alley. <coughs> USA looking to try her luck here against the law right. Here we go, main event, and oh my god, what a spear by Sergeant Clements, not even wasting any time! There was like a, like a cannonball being shot into a cannon, that's how the USA just landed! And look at this, look at the pure, unadulterated power of the Law Rider! Sergeant Clements just, oh man, there's a Cobra Clutch backbreaker just throwing her right across the ring! This is what Riot's gonna be fighting at Hardcore Havoc, this is the woman who pretty much destroyed CCL's Dallas. Sergeant Clements famous for in that free fall Hell in a Cell match a couple, two years, a few years ago, where she did the Prison of Love to, to Dallas through the set, literally launched her as high in the air as possible through the center of the cell. The USA has barely gotten any offensive move in. Oh! Jeez! 
He's literally descending her literally as high in the air as she could and they're just dropping her. There's a body splash. Sergeant Hurts was also a victim of the cell, but came back just as vicious as ever. And wait a minute, the USA with a flapjack. She's going for a scoop slam. Quickly getting up to the top rope. Missile drop kick. The USA with that burst of energy. Oh, she misses the clothesline. But she didn't miss the hip toss though. And quickly going for some elbows to the shoulders. USA quickly going for the snap here, going for that chin lock. Go for chin lock and no. Clements has a really hard head. And now look at this uh, abdominal stretch. Just doing all that damage to the upper body. And the USA able to hit, barely was able to hit toss him. Now grabbing the arm. Trying to go for that arm bar. Trying to work on the arm of the Law Rider. She's putting pressure. But I don't think it's enough though. And no, it is definitely not enough. Sometimes he's like, oh, please. And there's a hard Irish whip. And there's another clothesline again. Now bring her to the turnbuckle. Bring her to the top rope. Crossing those arms. What is this? Oh, God! <sighs> and now Sergeant Clemens up the top rope. Go for that splash. Oh, wait a minute. The USA with that burst of energy. But there's a jumping elbow. Manhattan drop. And oh no. German suplex. Sergeant Clemens has destroyed all of the USA's hopes and dreams with that German suplex. Big sit out power bomb. And oh, here we go. She's got her in that crucifix position. Spinning her around. She spins me right. That prison of love. And there's the leg is hooked. One, two, three. Sergeant Clemens just one up Ryan with that dominating performance. This was a dominant. This is what this is what Riot's gonna be dealing with at Hardcore App. Sergeant Clemens with her power, and you saw a whole lot of that power being displayed in this match. The USA got a couple of moves in, but it was not enough. Not against this uh, this veteran in the end of business, and that was all it took. You gotta ask yourself, do, do you think Riot has a chance against Sergeant Clemens at Hardcore Havoc? Do you think Riot will be leaving Hardcore Havoc with the, hard, with the Queen of Hardcore Championship? I don't know, we'll have to wait and see, because we're definitely very close to Hardcore Havoc. Well, anyway, ladies and gentlemen, we are running out of time. This is yours truly, the Jam Factor, Joseph Mato saying good fight, good night, and we'll see you on Alliance.